Hi guys. Hi everybody. So today, oh sorry, that sounded like you said hi guys and I said hi everybody and that sounded pretentious. We'll take that one again. Why when you say Because everybody word? it's like a five dollar word when I could have just used a one dollar. Anyway, that's fine. What? Hi everybody. <laughs> hi guys. <laughs> I can't say hi, everybody. If you say hi, everybody. Yeah, but why you need to say hi, weird. everybody? Because then it sounds weird. Now you weird. look so cheap. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs>
different munch, like a lot of leaves from different uh, trees and bushes and stuff like that. For us, it's a uh, treasure. For the brown, it's uh, dead leaves because uh, it's winter, so there are uh, many trees they lost their leaves. So I posted the uh, ad on the uh, next door, uh, searching for uh, dead bags of dead leaves or uh, grass clipping. And so people told me, oh, I have four bags for you if you want to come and pick it up. And now we're gonna uh, munch them with the, the long mower. I'm sorry, guys, I'm exhausted, which makes it even harder to speak in English. Actually, we, we made a, a mistake when we mulched this. Um, what happened is we used too much uh, wet uh, uh, material. So what happened is, as you can see here, for example, when we lift the, the first dry layer, you start to see like it's all uh, mushy and uh, very, very wet. There is basically no air circulating here. So the problem is when you don't have air, it becomes an anaerobic system and the bacteria and the life, uh, the worms, etc., are like us. They need oxygen to breathe and to help uh, decompose all of this. The goal for our mulch is to have a nice balance, not too wet, not too dry. Ours was on the, the wet side, so we decided to get some dry stuff to help balance that out. We bought a bale of uh, organic alfalfa and a bale of organic straw to help us towards that purpose. Um, as you can see, straw is really wonderful for introducing oxygen. Uh, if you've ever held, held straw in your hand before, it's very lightweight. It interlaces with itself and it helps to create lots of little wonderful air pockets for air to be able to move throughout. Uh, so this is a wonderful way to help keep it light and allow oxygen to get through to the soil for all the microorganisms, for the uh, mycelium and all of that that needs oxygen to survive. What are we doing here today? Uh, we were very lucky to be able to get a bunch of these willow branches from someone we found on the Nextdoor app. Uh, they had just trimmed a willow tree and they offered to let us come and bundle them up and take them away from them, which was super nice because we got some free branches. Uh, why are branches important? Uh, well, branches and wood in general is full of lignin which is wonderful food for mushrooms and mycelium. They break it down uh, and they turn that lignin into uh, really wonderful nutrients for all of our uh, uh, annual plants, really any plant. Uh, now, the challenge here is these plants, uh, these branches are all protected by an outer layer of uh, bark or skin. Uh, and the mushrooms are unable to penetrate that. So every time we put a cut into it, we create an opportunity for the mushrooms to get inside. The more cuts we have, the faster it's going to break down, the faster we're going to have more nutrients for our plants. Which is where this bad boy comes into uh, play. His name is Joe. Full name is Sun Joe, but we call him Joe because we're on a friendly first name basis with him. Joe uh, is a mulcher uh, that is basically designed for branches. What Joe does here is he chops up the thick parts of the branches into these wonderful little wood chips, which is just ooh, perfect food for mushrooms. But then even when we have these bigger pieces, you can see all these slices and cuts and nicks that he puts in them. Every one of those is a vulnerability that our um, mushrooms can then take advantage of and they can break it down and turn that lignin into wonderful, delicious food for all of our plants, which then become delicious food for us. It's almost like there's a circle of life. Almost. <laughs> After six months of mulching, we improved the way to make our mulch, to make it uh, easier, faster, and also uh, we learned through time uh, the, the right balance. We're gonna keep improving uh, through time, and this is how we make it right now. We try to do uh, roughly 50-50, brown dry material and green wet material. For example, I might start with some straw and then add uh, comfrey, add dead grasses, add the uh, wood chips, add some kitchen scrap, add the coffee ground, add a layer of uh, dead leaves, 
and maybe add a little more concrete. And then I shred it and mix it all with the lawn mower, which give me at the end a very diversified mulch that I'm gonna drop on top of the bed. The mulch is doing a very important job for us. So to the mulch, I say, thank you very much. Even though we did a lot of it really early on, uh, we're always trying to add more mulch as we go because the thing about mulch is it's decomposing and all those bugs are eating stuff and it's getting lower and lower. So we have to keep re-adding it. Oh, this is a good yarmulke. <laughs>